One of the best ways to light the band members of your worship team is with a little bit of local light right next to them. And you might have seen Church on the Move in Tulsa, Oklahoma use what they call a dewy light that you can make for yourself for about $50. We made these fixtures. I'll show you how and how we use them. Hey, it's Dave Dolphin at practicalworshiplog.com sharing ideas, tips, and practical advice for the everyday worship leader. And the thing about light is that once light leaves a fixture, it's going to keep on going no matter what until it hits something. So if you're trying to light the members of your band using the lights that you have hanging from the ceiling to get that subject lit the way you want to you might have all this extra light splashing all over the stage so this is a fixture that we made ourselves and you might have seen them if you're familiar with church on the move up in tulsa oklahoma and they came up with the design and they built their own fixtures as well and i'm going to show you how we made our fixtures but here's my disclaimer is that this video is purely informational and you should always consult a qualified professional whenever you're dealing with electricity and voltage and things that can generate a lot of heat and possibly catch fire if you're not careful we made ours for about 50 dollars in parts and we're going to take a little field trip i'm going to show you how So the first thing you're looking for is a stove pipe reducer. Whenever they vent your hood over your range or they, uh, they vent your dryer, they use this aluminum tubing. And if they need to go from one size to another, that's what's called a reducer. So you're looking, you need a specific size. You need to go from four to five inches so that that lamp sits nicely into the part. And then just spray paint it black with this heat resistant spray paint. Now the yoke is made from one and one quarter flat aluminum. We just bend it into a U. We drill holes for the machine screws that go into the reducer. And then we drilled a bigger hole at the mount. Now I think Church on the Move used all thread for their mounts. We actually use microphone stands because we had a bunch of those laying around and that gives us the additional benefit of being able to change the height of the fixture. Now the lamp you need, you need to order from Amazon. It's a DWE 650 watt bowl. I'm gonna put a link to the description below. Now you're only gonna run that lamp at maybe 10 or 15% when you use it on stage, but you don't want to get a lower wattage bulb and run it at 100% because you might get the same amount of light, but you're not gonna get the same color. What makes this lamp really pretty is that warm amber yellow glow that it has. So you want the 650 watt, but you only wanna run it at 10 or 15%. And again, the link is in the description below. Now, I always thought the reason why it was called a dewy light was because of the letters DWE for the lamp. But actually, if you talk to the guys that created this thing, they were trying to figure out a way to house this DWE lamp, but you couldn't use plastic because that's, you know, the heat and it's not going to work well. And someone in the room named Dewey said, hey, why don't you get a stovepipe reducer? And the rest, they say, is history. Well, here at Practical Worship, we love sharing ideas and tips and practical advice for the everyday worship leader with videos just like this one. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. That way you know when new videos are uploaded here at YouTube every single Tuesday. And if you enjoyed this, you might know someone else that might benefit from this information. Consider taking the link and sharing it on your Facebook and on your Twitter and places like that. And for more great practical advice, check out practicalworshipblog.com.